so here is the program that we've been working on, right? And we have it in Atom now, right? Which makes it a lot easier to work with and a lot easier to see, especially when we might make a mistake, right? This makes it much easier to find mistakes. Now, more or less, what we have here is basically this, right? This is pretty much the structure we have right now. Now, I did talk about that this is not exactly what I want it to look like. This is just sort of what I started with. I want it to look a little bit more like this. And the part that I want to cover next is this loop. Now, I'm not fully satisfied with this loop. Looking at my flowchart now, I actually realized that, like, the play and quit, like, that, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense in general. But more importantly, it's really more of like, do you want to play again, right? So when you die or when you lose, because, you know, hopefully it takes them more than one attempt, um, do you want to play again? So right now I have it going directly to end program, but that's not really what I want. I actually want something more like, like it to go this way. And then if they say yes to quit, then it goes down to end program. So I don't really want, I don't really want that. So maybe I can just, right, just scribble it out. There we go. So that's kind of more what I want, right? So in that case, if we look at my program, that means that somewhere down here-ish is when it should end the program, right? So if we look at what we're doing here, is we want sort of this whole thing to be a loop, right? And then this right here is what takes them out of the loop. So how do we sort of set that up? So there's more than one type of loop, but I'm only gonna discuss the first loop in this video and we'll discuss another loop in another video. So for this video, let's start out with the while loop. And in my opinion, this is the easier loop. It's basically saying that while something is true or while something happens or while a number is below some other number, something like that, while some situation exists, we keep doing something. And then when it no longer exists, we stop doing it as soon as you check for that again. So the way that that looks is we do, I'm gonna go ahead and do it outside of, of code first, just so you can see the structure, and then we'll talk about where it actually goes. So you do something like while, and then in parentheses you have a condition, like something is equal to true, then it's gonna do whatever is in the curly brace. So like alert, hello. Now this, this right now is terrible because by default something is true, right? By default things are true. Right now something doesn't exist. So if we make something, let's see what happens, right? Now we didn't define something as true and in most languages, by default something, I shouldn't call this something, let's call this um, things, much things or whatever. Okay, so by default in majority of programming languages, anything that you make is true unless you give it a reason not to be true, right? So by default, this should run forever which is a terrible idea. An infinite loop is a terrible idea. We don't want an infinite loop. So what we can also do is right after that, I can just tell it break. And that's gonna break out of this loop. And then of course, you know, we should have a semicolon at the end of our, of our while statement. Oh, and of course at the end of the alert and at the break. Okay, so let's see if it likes this. And oh, we should also have semicolons in there. There we go. So let's see if it likes this. All right, so we've got our dino battle. We've got, do you wanna play? Okay. Ready to play, ooh, it skipped it. Okay, so maybe, maybe much things in JavaScript is not true just by default. Hmm. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so let's make much things equal to true. All right, and now if we refresh this, close. Do you wanna play? There we go, okay. So in JavaScript, your variable is not gonna be a true or false just by default. Now the question is, if we put something else in there, will it be true? Was it not true because I had done nothing to the variable itself? 
right? So if I delete this and I make this equal to false, will it be false because there's nothing actually in the variable? That's a good question. Yes, stop. Let me die. Come on. All right. Final battle. Do you want to play? Oh, no, it skipped it too. Okay, so that's interesting. So that's something that JavaScript does. Different languages do things differently. For the most part, most stuff is the same, but there's a few differences here or there. All right. So if we put that back to true and we put that back, what if we make this equal to an integer, right? Like one, like one is a value, right? One is a true thing. So let's see what this does. Dino battle. Okay. Right. So it works, right? One is true. One is a true thing. It's a real thing. So it's true, right? Um, yeah, it, it is what it is. So, so that's just something to be aware of. You can use this to your advantage, right? You could make it so that if there's something in the game where like they've like picked up an item, right? Um, and like it doesn't matter what item it is, just they've picked up an item, so it's created a variable and it's put something in there. And then later it could ask, like, you know, there could be a check to see if they have something in there, right? And it doesn't matter what the thing is, but just is it true? And then there could be a result, right? So that's kind of cool. I mean, maybe. I mean, it's up to you. It's your game. You decide what to do. Anyway, anyway, the point is that's what true does. And now we can use it for a loop. The issue is we have to have a way out, right? This break let us out of the loop. If we delete that... I don't know if it's gonna run it. Do you wanna play? Hello, 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 hello. It's, it's a problem, right? Like, how do we get out? So so what we need to do is we need to um, have basically a way out, right? So we can do like, um, we can do a confirm box, right? So we could have much things is equal to confirm, right? And then it's like um, more, right? And we can save it, refresh this. Maybe if we can refresh it, we just have to close the window. There's no choice. We can't even get out. We can't even refresh it. All right, all right. Dino battle. Do you want to play? Hello? More. More? Yes, more. Hello? More? Hello? More? Right? Because okay, okay means true. Right, but if we hit cancel, what does cancel mean, right? Ah, not more, right? Cancel is false. So when when I did the confirm and I and I clicked cancel, that put false into much things. Much things was no longer true, so we broke out of this while loop and it continued to the next one. Good. I mean that's what we wanted, right? So now the question is what do we actually do with this thing? How do we make the loop actually like make the game loop? So the thing there is it has to do with where we put the different things, right? So um, basically, we want this while loop to contain basically the whole game. Now, we've got this do you want to play thing up here, right? And that's fine. And as long as they write true, then it does that, right? And then it does this other stuff, right? Um, this is sort of a, a, lame, a lame thing there. But it's, it's fine. We can just work with it. So instead, my my while much things would go inside of that because I'm assuming that they have said that they want to play. Or did I? I didn't. No, if you look at my flow chart, if they want to play it, ask them if they want to quit, right? So what we need to do is we do need while much things is equal to true up here, right? And then down here, down here, after the, uh, the I'm no fun, this is where it asks them, if they want to play again, right? The I'm no fun doesn't really doesn't really matter, right? I'm sorry you don't want to play or whatever. We don't really need this alert anymore because we're gonna ask them if they want to quit, right? Um, we're not gonna say do you want to play again because we just said do you want to? We just said here like that you know sorry you don't want to play or whatever. So here we could be saying like like do you want to quit? Do you want to quit, right? Um, now the problem here is that if they hit OK, that actually makes it true. And if they hit false, or if they hit cancel that they don't want to quit, then that makes this false, right? So right now it's it's 
backwards. I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you, right? That's better than, than just trying to explain. So Dino Battle, if you want to play, um, I can hit cancel, right? I'm sorry, you don't want to play. Do you want to quit? Like, no, I don't want to quit. Oh, but it quit, right? Dino Battle, if you want to play, cancel. I'm sorry, you don't want to play. Do you want to quit? Okay. Wait. Oh, it, it, what, what did it do? I'm sorry, you don't want to play. Oh, two issues. Okay. So it's looping, right? Which is an issue. And it's not even going back to the start. It's actually going right here because uh, user play is equal to true is, uh, it's false, right? Because right here it said, do you want to play? Right? So this needs to actually be inside of the while loop, right? So that way it asks them again if they want to, if they want to play. But you saw the issue, right? Is it said, do you want to quit? And I said, okay, and it didn't quit, right? So really, um, for this to work, much things needs to be false. And much things here needs to be false because it can't be one because one is true by default, right? So now as long as much things is false, it, it won't play again if they say okay. It'll only play again if they say cancel. So I saved it, command S. So going back to here, dino battle. Do you want to play? No. I'm sorry, you don't want to play. Do you want to quit? No, I don't want to quit. Do you want to play? I don't want to play. Eh, I do want to quit. Ta-da! It worked, right? Now, much things is a dumb variable name. So this needs to be a better better variable name. So this could be like, um, right, like uh, user quit, right? User quit makes a whole lot more sense. So I can copy this, and that can go here. And then also I need to make um, that this, right, as well as this, right? And we need to create the variable, set the variable to actually be false, and then we can do this other stuff, right? So hopefully that makes sense, right? So for our loop, we've created a variable, right? We've made it equal to a value, right? We have this while loop and we have the condition. So while user quit is equal to false, right? Which we've set it to that. Then right here, this curly brace is opening and everything inside before we, everything inside until we close the curly brace, which is way down here, it's going to be in a loop, right? Now we need a way out of the loop, right? And that's what this does here, right? So just sort of a summary, once they hit OK, that makes user quit equal to true, so it's no longer false, so it breaks out. If they hit cancel, then user quit is given the value of false again, and then the loop continues, right? Now, uh, just for good coding style, all of these should also be indented now because all of these are inside of another set of curly braces, right? This is just to make it easier to read, right? So now you can more easily see that this curly brace aligns all the way up with this while here, right? So this right here, right, they line up, right? So we know that all of this stuff is inside of this set there, right? So hopefully that made sense. Try it out, try putting a while loop in yours, and see what you think about that. And you can add more while loops in there too, right? You could have some sort of while loop of, you know, like maybe um, having some sort of dream here, right? Where like you get different dream sequences until they finally decide to wake up, right? Maybe there's like a random value, which we haven't talked about yet, but that's okay. We can do it later, right? Where they get random dream sequences until they choose to wake up. And until then, it just keeps rerunning a randomized one, right? There's different things you could do with this while loop, right? So uh, yeah, we'll use it more in the future and hopefully you understand it.